Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my Sephora savings event recommendations for 2024, which means that the first no buy of the year is almost over. I cannot wait. So I'm currently scrolling through all of the new launches, editing my shopping cart, trying to figure out what all I'm going to purchase for my first Sephora haul of the year. I wanted to create today's video of recommendations to talk about all of the new exciting launches, things that might not already be on your radar or part of your beauty collection. And because I've been on a no buy since the beginning of the year, I always like to be transparent with you. A lot of these things, I would say most of them were sent to me complimentary, does not affect my opinion whatsoever. I'm lucky enough to be sent quite a few things, especially since I've been part of Sephora squad for so many years. Some things I like, some things I love, other things you'll never hear me talk about. But in the case of these products today, I absolutely love them, recommend them, I would purchase them myself. And in a lot of cases, I am planning to purchase them myself during the savings event. I have a bit of everything today, a little makeup, body care, fragrance, hair care, just everything that I'm currently obsessed with, including the three new shades of this Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. I have all three of the new shades, Just Enough, She's the Moment, and Not Too Much. I cannot choose a favorite, I wish I could, but all three are absolutely stunning. I feel like these are three of his best shades. This is one that I swatched the other day. She's the moment, this is a really pretty peach. So perfect for spring summer makeup. You know how much I love a peachy cheek. Now, I know these received a little criticism because people said, well, those are too light. What about deeper skin tones? I actually think they're sort of deceptively light in the pan. They're pretty dark. They're very pigmented on the skin. So I think if you have tan medium skin, this one would look really beautiful on you. This is the light pink, just enough. I'm gonna swatch all of the powders and the creams so you can see all of the shades next to each other. Stunning, so beautiful fresh faced Barbie pink. This is such a pretty blush shade. I've built up quite a collection of these Patrick Ta blushes by now and I would say these are probably my two favorite shades. They are so beautiful and just so perfect for this season. I mean, when I think of the Sephora Spring Savings Event, I know they're technically calling it just savings event now, but this is the time of year. I want spring makeup and this is perfect. And then this is the neutral shade. It's so beautiful, not too much. It is the perfect neutral cheek. And I always think that a cheek like this is really pretty with a pop of red or a pop on the lip. So with a lipstick like the one that I'm wearing today, something like this is just soft. It gives you a hint of color, just a little something. They are truly stunning. Now, do I think there is also a strong possibility you might have enough blush in your makeup collection to last you for the next few decades? Yes, so if you are in the market for new blushes, if maybe you have never tried this formula before, highly recommend checking out these shades, but as always, Please do not feel like because there is a savings event and you get a discount, you have to black out and shop for all of these products that you truly do not need. There is another savings event that comes around in October. You might be able to hold out and wait until then, but if you've had your eye on these and you're sort of in the market for a new blush, 10 out of 10. On my running makeup wish list that I've kept in my phone since the beginning of the year, I have a lot of Prada Beauty and I've been lucky enough to be sent a few pieces to try early. I'm still planning to pick up a few things. This eyeshadow palette, stunning. I'm not usually blown away by eyeshadow palettes because I'm sort of simple when it comes to eyeshadow. The textures, the colors of this palette are so good that I immediately added another shade to my shopping cart. And because I have this one that comes with the compact, I think I'm gonna pick up just the refill. That way I can always pop this one out and plug the refill in. This one is the shade, it's called Prada Dimensions 06. I believe the shade is Pulp. It is so beautiful. It has this really stunning rose gold shade right here. It's kind of the eyeshadow version of that metallic pigment that I apply on my lid every single day. So this is like exactly what I wear, but in pressed form. Then you have this perfect kind of neutral peachy tan shade in the center, the deeper shade up at the top. And then the pop of color is this rose down here, but it translates so beautifully on the eye. It's really not 
overly intense or overly pink. I feel like this palette just gives you a soft, neutral blush makeup look which is basically what I do on a regular basis. I can achieve the same look that I love and wear every single day, but with one product. It's so convenient. I love this eyeshadow palette so much. I cannot wait to pick up another colorway. And I also really like the inspiration. So each of these palettes was inspired by one of the iconic Prada prints. So it's mostly neutrals and then they all have a pop of color. I also really like the two lippies I've tried from Prada Beauty, including the lip balm. Sounds sort of crazy to say this lip balm is special. It's a lip balm with a matte finish and I actually love using this as a lipstick primer. The lip balm feels really good. It kind of smooths all of the lines. And then if you pair that with the lipstick, it's perfect. This is P59 shade Almarina, I believe. It is such a pretty mauve pink. And then I have two other lippies here to mention. The YSL Candy Glaze has just taken off this year. I don't remember when these launched, but they've been around for longer than you might expect, but it seems like they've just taken social media by storm for good reason. These are the real deal. I honestly feel like everybody's talking about these because they're incredible. They have great color payoff. All of the YSL lippies are infused with mango oil or mango butter. So they have a little sweet scent, a little sweet taste. They feel ultra nourishing on the lips. Number 13 and 10 are two of my favorites. I also like the clear, the really light pink is also really beautiful, but this is one of the prettiest reds that I have in my collection. It's glossy, it's hydrating, it's like a lip butter, a treatment, a lipstick, and a lip gloss all in one product. So it's kind of everything you want in a lip product. Beautiful. And I feel like YSL as a brand always has kind of the best shade range. They have so many nudes, reds, pinks, violets, oranges. You can find just about any color with YSL. And this I opened just the other day. I purchased this myself, a very new favorite. It's the new Summer Fridays Dream Lip Oil. I went with shade Pink Cloud. It's so beautiful. I've only worn this on top of other things because that's generally how I wear a lip oil or lip gloss anyways. So I haven't worn this on its own, but I'm gonna throw this in my purse. Whenever I'm finished with my Pink Sugar Lip Butter Balm, I'm probably just gonna switch over to this lip oil. It feels really great. It's very glossy and I think the colors are really stunning. So highly recommend this as well. It's a very new love. Now this is definitely not a new beauty product, but it's relatively new to my routine. I was very late to the game when it comes to curling your eyelashes before mascara. I think they just always scared me in the past and I have seen horror stories of people curling their eyelashes and then losing a chunk of lashes. And I think it just, freaked me out, so I always avoided these. I only curl my lashes before mascara with nothing on my lashes. I think you run into problems when you apply a little mascara and then try to curl them quickly so that it holds. Do not do that. But these are the Shiseido, they're award-winning, and I absolutely love them. I also purchased the Chanel. I use these as well. The Chanel are really nice. But if I had to choose a favorite between the two, for some reason, the Shiseido just feels a little bit more gentle, or I don't know, it feels like it's just sort of hugging my eyelashes and gently clamping and curling them. So if I had to choose a favorite between the two, I would say the Shiseido is my favorite, and it does make a difference. Who knew? Everybody. <laughs> Everybody knew but me. It does make a difference to curl your lashes. I generally just do a couple pumps, hold it for a second or two, and then I go in with my mascara and perfection. And now I have some new body care products to talk about. Even though these are new words, my beauty routine, you are going to hear me talk about these indefinitely. They are soon to be holy grails because I love them so much. This doesn't seem new because it's the KP Bump Eraser from First Aid Beauty. I swear by this. I think I've talked about this body scrub in every single Sephora Savings Event recommendations video for the past few years. They listened to us, they heard me talk about how terrible the smell was, and they came out with strawberry. So they sent this over. It does smell really nice. It has a very light strawberry scent. It doesn't smell like the strawberry is masking the bad scent that the original has. 
for spring, summer, when you're probably going to be showing a little bit more skin, maybe you're doing a lot of sunless tanning, this is essential. It really does leave your skin feeling so baby smooth. It gets rid of everything. It's also great if you have sun damage, fine lines, if you have blemishes. Of course, if you have any active breakouts, you wanna be really careful, really gentle if you use this scrub. But it gets rid of everything. You truly feel like you are sloughing off the top layer and that way it's nice and fresh and smooth for all of your body creams and potions and lotions and everything that you're gonna put on top. I swear by this, always have, but now that it's available in strawberry, I'm gonna be making the switch. Another great exfoliator for the body is this JLo Body Titan and Tea's Ultimate Body Serum. It has peptides, bentonite clay, and AHAs. I know I have talked about this a few times, I think, but I don't think I've talked about it enough. It is amazing. Just like the First Day Beauty KP Bump Eraser, it does come with a little disclaimer. The first time, the first few times you use this serum, it might burn a little bit. And I mean burn, not just a light tingle. It truly does have AHAs and you can feel it working. It almost feels like it's melting the top layer of skin. Now, once you use it a couple times, even by the second time, it's not that bad. The first time, you might feel like you need to rinse it off if you have sensitive skin. But the more you use it, your body adjusts and adapts and it gets used to it, but it, it truly is like a facial for your body. When I look at my legs, my arms, my chest even, after I've applied this body serum, it's as if it just completely refines the texture of your skin. It definitely helps with, again, spots, dark spots, hyperpigmentation if you have post blemish marks on your body, fine lines. Overall texture, if you have little bumps on your skin, this helps make everything look so smooth, so poreless and beautiful. Do not use this after the KP Bump Eraser scrub. Don't use this after any scrub. Don't use this after you shave your legs <laughs> even. You have to be careful because I swear it works, but when I do use this body serum, the results are just insane. It is so good. I don't think enough people are talking about how great this is. I really love it for my chest area. I had a lot of sun damage from growing up in Florida. I've actually done three clear and brilliant laser treatments on my chest. So this is always a problem area or an area that I'm working on. I feel like this has made a big difference. And then on my legs, because I naturally have dark hair, even after I shave, like a fresh shave, I can sometimes just see like little dots. I don't know if it's the little pores or the little spots where the hair grows through, but I feel like this helps my legs look really smooth and it gets rid of all of those little dots after I shave. And then after you exfoliate, after you sunless tan, it's really important that you nourish and hydrate the skin, of course. Josie Marin just relaunched her famous body butter. This has been one of the best-selling, award-winning body butters for years in the beauty industry. Well, she came out with new packaging. It's glass, it's refillable. So this is what it looks like, and then it comes in these little refill packets and even these are resealable so you could just go with this if you don't like the look of a glass jar or maybe you feel like this would just work better in your bathroom i don't know you could go with either one she has some really great scents this is vanilla vibes and this one is always nude which is the unscented version it does have a very light scent but it just sort of smells like body butter the always nude smells really good even though it's the unscented version it probably sounds sort of funny but this just smells like hydrated skin i really love it now this body butter is packed with a bunch of great ingredients it has argan oil of course that's sort of the hero ingredient of josie marin it has a couple other oils as well i don't remember off the top of my head but i would say this is an oily body butter you may or may not like that, I love it. I want my body butter to feel like it is truly hydrating and nourishing my skin for hours. And that's exactly what this does. In fact, it leaves a little bit of a glow to the skin. It's so pretty. This has been my favorite body lotion lately. As soon as I get out of the shower, I apply this. I have a tub where I've actually mixed two together. There's a tangerine and the vanilla, and I mix the two together and it smells so good. There's also a fig. I wanna say there's a second vanilla. 
All of the scents are very light. I think because it's a cleaner brand, she doesn't use artificial fragrance. So even the scented body lotions are very subtle, which I think is great because that way you have a little fragrance, but it's not overpowering and you can still layer a scent of the day, a fragrance of the day, and it's not going to compete. And of course, the body essential of all essentials, it's also a face essential, is sunscreen. This new, well, it's not really new. This is another reformulation. So this always existed, but they tweaked the formula a little bit. I believe they increased the SPF. So this is from Shiseido. It's the ultimate sun protector lotion. It has SPF 60 plus, broad spectrum, water resistant. It is the best sunscreen for the body I have ever tried. I've actually used this on my face as well. I have a couple other Shiseido sunscreens that I use for the face, but if you were going to the pool, to the beach, and you just wanted one product, this would be perfect. It doesn't smell like chemicals. It doesn't smell bad at all. It actually smells a little bit fruity. I don't know if it's peach or mango, but it has a very light, fresh scent. It is not sticky whatsoever. It's a gel. So it goes on and it's so light and it's not sticky and it just sort of absorbs into the skin. You don't feel like you're applying sunscreen. It feels like more of a lotion and yet it gives you SPF 60, which is what I desperately need in Miami. I've been blown away by the sunscreen. I've used it ever since this was sent to me to try a couple weeks ago. And I think I probably have 75% of it, but because we're just now getting into summer, I will probably pick up another one of these. I just don't really wanna be without it. I have so much sunscreen that I hate to purchase another one. I should probably go through a few of my other ones. I really like Super Goop, of course, is one that I use for the face regularly. The Soleil Toujours is really beautiful. I've been going through their sunscreen, but I swear, this is just the best in terms of checking every single box. And I have used this on my face. I've been outside, I've worked out, I've been sweating with it. Did not irritate my skin at all. No breakouts, just perfect. Oh, and I almost forgot because it's clear and it's more of a gel, there's zero white cast because it's not white on the skin. It goes on clear, which is also really amazing for the body. I feel like that plays a role more so for the face. Of course, you don't want a white cast all over your body, but I think most people are like, eh, it's fine, but you certainly don't want to look like Casper the Ghost. Not a problem with this at all. I have two new hair care favorites to talk about and they're both pretty splurgy. Usually I feel like the hair care category falls under restocks. You probably have your tried and true favorite products, the styling things that you always use go through. So those are always great to pick up during the savings event when you know you can get a discount. I love this new Orbe Gold Lust Dry Heat Protection Spray. I love a good heat protector. I always, no matter what, when I'm styling my hair, I use a leave-in conditioner, sometimes a serum or a mousse or something else thrown in there, but definitely some sort of hydrator conditioner and then a heat protector. But this is a dry heat protector. You can also use this on wet hair, but once the hair is dry, if you've done your blowout and you're about to use your hot tool, that's when you go in with this mist and it is so fine. You can barely feel it. It's amazing. I think that was always my problem in the past with styling products is that they were just too heavy on the hair. So not only would they weigh the hair down and you wouldn't have as much volume, but also it just can damage the hair because you're going in with a hot tool and sometimes you hear like that crinkling sound as if something is burning terrible. This is so light, you can barely feel it. It's a very fine mist and it protects up to 450 degrees. It is so nice, but then your hair still feels really soft, really bouncy. I feel like my hair holds the style a little bit better when using this as well. I wanna say it's $48, so it's very pricey. I don't wash and style my hair that often, so I think this bottle will last me a while. I'm tempted to pick up another one. I could probably wait until the next savings event, but this is one of those splurge worthy products. I would say the entire Orbe Gold Lust line is very pricey, but every time I use the shampoo, the conditioner, the styling products, I can feel a difference with my hair. And then if you're really looking to splurge or you're looking to invest in a new hot tool, maybe you have your eye on the Dyson Airwrap. I do own the Dyson Airwrap. I'm a shark beauty girl, but they came out with this new color. It's so pretty. So this is the new Malibu pink shark. It is so 
cute. It is so much fun to use. I mean, it works exactly the same. I also have the stone. I'm gonna gift it to a friend of mine. And I'm holding on to the pink because this one just adds a little extra joy and happiness to my beauty routine. It really is the little things. And I, as much as I say this is a splurge, when you look at the price compared to the Dyson Airwrap, this is hands down the better buy and I think it gives you the exact same results. No question. I like to let my hair air dry for as long as possible, but then when I need to do a rough dry or get rid of any excess water, I'll go in, quick rough dry, and then it comes with all of the attachments. The attachments aren't pink. Maybe a missed opportunity there, but I still really like the pink base. So I have the round brush attachment. Looks kind of gross because it has some hair in there. I used this just the other day. Love the round brush attachment. It also has the smoothing attachment. This is amazing. I always have little flyaways on top of my head. So this does a great job smoothing them out. You have the little barrels, which is so cute. This pops right on if you wanna do a traditional blow dry or a traditional blowout. So it comes with everything that the original shark comes with but it's in a beautiful new color. I have found that I actually use my shark more so for retouching my styles in the middle of the week than the initial style. Sometimes if I have the time, I'll do the initial style with the shark, but oftentimes I always have to restyle my hair after a couple days anyways. That's when I'll go in with the round brush tool is amazing because I get these little curly cues around my face that I often need to just sort of touch up later on before a wash day. And then also the curling attachments if I want to add a little extra bounce, if I like to recurl my ends that's when I'll go in with the shark. So it works for basically anything. One of the most versatile hair, hair tools out there. And finally, I wanted to share a couple fragrance recommendations. It wouldn't be a true Sephora savings event recommendations video if we didn't at least touch on fragrance. Of course, there are so many fragrances that are amazing at Sephora. And what I'll do is I will link a few more recommendations down below, but I wanted to at least talk about a few new favorites that I highly recommend checking out if you haven't done so yet. The new Amber Vanilla from The Seven Virtues. This is beautiful. And usually when you think of Amber Vanilla, you might think fall, winter, heavy, moody, sexy date night. This is actually a pretty light fragrance. I think it's really perfect for spring, summer, great for daytime. It's just a beautiful, pleasant fragrance if you like Amber and you like vanilla. I also really love Sunkissed Dahlia from Skylar. This is my favorite fragrance from the brand, hands down. It has peach, dahlia, probably vanilla in there as well, vanilla sugar. It's a little peach treat, a sweet, peachy, creamy, peaches and cream, subtly floral type of fragrance. It smells like sunset, smells like golden hour. It's mouthwatering, addicting. Smells so incredibly good, blown away by this fragrance. And then another new favorite that sort of threw me for a loop is this new Valentino Born in Roma Green Stravaganza. When I think of green, I think bitter, fresh cut grass, like shrubs. <laughs> I think of shrubbery when I hear green when it comes to fragrance. It has black tea, jasmine, and vanilla. So in many ways, it seems similar to the original Born in Roma. I think it smells totally different because the tea is a little bit overwhelming. It sort of overtakes the fragrance. So this belongs in its own category altogether. It actually reminds me a bit more of Matcha Meditation from Replica, if you're familiar with that fragrance. Flankers can be hit or miss. I don't think they're the most exciting launches, but sometimes when they're done right, they can be some of the best fragrances. That's how I feel about this. It is amazing. If you like tea fragrances, if you like Dear Polly from Wilhelm Parfumery, if you really like Princess from Killian, get your nose on this. And that completes my list of Sephora savings event recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful while you're editing your shopping cart. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. 
I'm always very nosy and curious to see what you guys are shopping for. So if you have any recommendations, anything that you're really excited about, drop it in the comments. We'll keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be listed down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.